hey what's going on guys we are back with another video today we're going to do a beard fade with a beard lineup okay guys so what we're doing here is basically skinning out the beard and now this is kind of a new style a new trend that's been going on a lot of people are fading their beards a lot lower now fading a beard is nothing new uh, this has been going on for years but it's usually a lot higher i've noticed lately a lot of clients want their beard faded a lot lower than average so we're basically bringing the beard halfway down the face and fading it out we're going to do the same thing on this side we're going to bring that beard halfway down the face now you want to make sure that you match that beard from the other side uh the same as this side you want to make sure that both are matching because when you go ahead and do your blend you don't want to mess up that blend because you, you know customers do not play with their facial hair it's crazy people take their facial hair so serious um you want to make sure that everything is even on each side guys you want to make sure that it's nice and clean the next step we're going to do is grab our shaver and we're going to shave the face basically so we're going to shave that little area now the reason why we're doing this is because this is really going to make the the fade on the beard look really really contrast we're going to blend that in and it's going to look really really good now when you bold it out all the way when you bold that you know that you know that facial hair all the way you really see the blend it really really stands out now i'm going a little higher on his head just in case he forgot anything because he shaved his own head before he got here um and now what i'm going to do is go ahead and grab my uh, wall clipper and I'm gonna open the lever all the way. And what I'm doing is basically creating a guideline. So if you guys been on the channel before, um, you guys know that when I do fair haircuts on the channel, I like to work my way from the biggest clip down to the smallest clip. Now, when you're fading a beard, it's the same exact, same exact steps, except the hair is backwards. So you are working your way from the biggest clip to the smallest clip, but the hair is backwards. So I grab my uh, one and a half guard over here and I'm basically flicking the wrist and going a lot lighter, a lot lighter strokes, guys, because the facial hair can be thinner. Some people have full beards. He has a full beard, but it's a little thinner. So I don't want to go too crazy with the machine. I want to make sure that I take my time and really flick at the area that I want to work on. Now, again, guys, the hair is basically upside down. If we were fading, that hair would be on top of the head. What we're doing here, the fade is the opposite way. So I drop down to my uh, one guard, and what I'm doing here is basically flicking my wrist very, very lightly, starting to work on that guideline and get it out. I'm gonna go ahead and drop down to my half guard, doing the same thing, very, very light strokes to blend out that beard, guys. Just take your time, don't try to rush it. Um, you can really, really, you know, mess up the the hair and then we're, we're we're too far gone right now if we mess this up because it's halfway down the face he'll have a goatee if i mess this up so i want to make sure that i get this correct and what i did was take off the half guard close my machine up all the way and i'm working on that skin line trying to get it out as much as i can um basically flicking the wrist and going very very lightly as i get higher i start to use the lever and open it up i'm sorry as i get lower i'm using the lever and opening it up as i get higher i'm closing the lever so usually on a fade if I was getting lower, I mean, if I was getting higher, I would open up the lever, okay? And this is what we have. We have a nice blend. And now it's not really gonna pop until we use the straight razor. You're really gonna see this thing pop and until we actually shape the beard. Now you're gonna do the same thing on this side. Um, I dropped down to my uh, half guard. I did use the one and a half first. So I dropped down to my one guard, I apologize. This is the one guard. And then I'm gonna drop down to the half guard right here. Just going a little faster for video purposes. You guys know what I did on the other side. You're gonna do the same thing on this side. Basically flicking the wrist, making sure that I comb that area. And what I'm doing here, of course, is getting out that skin line. And as I go lower, I'm opening my lever so I don't make that line any lower, okay? Just watch what I'm doing, practice it, and make sure that you're going at the beard lightly again. Make sure you're going very, very light. Okay, guys, now we're really gonna make this thing pop. Um, we're gonna go ahead and pick out the beard. So any of the hair that's hanging out, we're gonna go ahead and shape it. Now, this is not a long beard. Uh, it's fairly long, it's not that long. So I'm just gonna get anything that's poking out. Um, he wants to let it grow a lot more. So we're gonna just graze any of the hair that's poking out. Anything that I see that can, you know, make the beard look unclean. I wanna make sure that that beard is clean. So I'm shaping it as much as I can. Just getting all the stray hairs and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. 
and you'll see that the, the beard looks a lot cleaner. But again, you're not gonna really see this thing really pop until we go ahead and use our outliner, then our straight razor, which is really gonna make this thing look really good. I'm excited. Just hang in there, guys. This is gonna be a good one. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and grab our T outline. And if you guys have been watching the tutorials that I do, um, you know that uh, I like to start from the jawline and then go on top. Now here we go, starting to shape it up, keeping it as high as possible. Um, so you can see that line. Again, you're gonna see it really pop when we use that straight razor. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on each side. This is what we have with the T outliner. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this side. Uh, keep it as high as possible where the hair is dark at and start to shape it up. And you can see me pulling up with that T outliner. Every time I go, every time I go to the designated area, I'm pulling up. Uh, same thing over here. I'm gonna go to the des designated area and I'm gonna pull out. So you see me making my line and pulling out. Don't push the hair. If you push the hair, you're gonna mess it up. So you wanna go to where you wanna go, chop it and pull away from it. Chop it, pull away from it. Chop it, pull it. Any way you're doing a, sh a shape up, you wanna make sure that you're going in with the, with the outliner and you wanna make sure that you're pulling away from it. You can see the same thing at the bottom. I'm chopping down, I'm not pushing up. A lot of times people push the hair and mess it up by pushing it up. Now you can see that beard is starting to really, really take place, it's starting to look good. But again, we will not get that full effect until we apply that straight, straight razor. All right, so I'm doing the same thing, just lightly, lightly getting anything. I don't wanna chop into his beard. He doesn't have so much to work with. I'm gonna go ahead and do the stash. I'm gonna go under the lip. Now you always wanna make sure that you go under the lip. That really, really makes the haircut look clean, guys. Um, that really makes the mustache look clean, the face, the facial hair look clean. You don't want to leave your client with uh, hair hanging over their lip. Really not a good look. Or if you're shaping up yourself, if you're fading out your own beard and you're watching this video, you don't want to leave that mustache like that. Even if you don't like doing the top like I'm doing here, always make sure you clean the bottom of your lip. Very, very key to a clean looking, clean looking facial hair, period. Even if you're just rocking a mustache, guys, make sure you clean under that lip. And what we're doing here is basically keeping it as high as possible in the inside. Again, not too much to work with here, but we're keeping it as, as high as possible. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the inside. I'm just gonna lightly tap it. Um, again, not too much to work with, so I'm just taking my time, guys. Really, really take your time. It's an art. Barbering is an art. Um, you carve, you know, out the hair the way you want it to look, and you, you know, you bring the you, you bring the facial hair alive. Okay. Before he sat in the chair, the facial hair was just regular facial hair. As you can see, it looks a lot better, starting to pop out a little bit more. Um, we're gonna go ahead and move on to that uh, that straight razor in a few minutes and really, really make this thing stand out. All right, we're gonna grab some Easy Blade shaving gel. And we're gonna rub that on the face. Um, this is gonna allow the blade to glide. Um, it's translucent. You can see right through it. And we grab the Easy Blade straight razor along with the Easy Blade double edge razors. And we're basically just getting at that line. Now, if you guys ever seen the video that we have online that has over a million views now, maybe 1.5, um, it's how to make a, a beard sharp every time. If you watch that video, the technique that I used was I would put the shave gel on and you guys can see I wiped it away. And to really get a crisp line, you wanna make sure that you use the straight razor dry after you shave with the shave gel. And that's gonna give you a sharp, sharp line. So I did the same thing on this side. Uh, shaved with the shave gel, wiped it off, and now I'm going with the crisp line, which is really, really gonna make the beard pop out, stand out for real. And you guys can go check out that video. Again, it's how to make a beard sharp every time. Um, very, very big on YouTube. I wouldn't be surprised if it's like over 1.5 right now. Same thing over here, going in the inside, lightly, taking my time. Then we'll go ahead and shape the top of the mustache as well. You wanna make sure that they fold their lip and you pull at the top of the skin. If you're shaping your own self up, you can do this as well. You can look on the channel, you can see how to shape your own goatee, how to shape your own beard. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of the Easy Blade Beard Oil. I'm gonna go ahead and put that inside of his beard. I want that beard to have a nice shine and to look nice and clean. 
So we go ahead, rub that in there. Really, really nurturing that beard. Uh, really packed with a lot of vitamins and, and stuff like that to really make that hair um, grow and be full. And this is what we have, guys. All right, so you can see from the front. Let me go ahead and show you this side. Let me go ahead and show you the other side. This is what we have, guys. A nice blended out, faded out beard. Really appreciate you guys for watching the video. Again, if you guys need any products, go to EasyBladeShavingProducts.com. Again, Jay here from EasyBlade Shaving Products. Talk to you guys soon.